somebody volunteer to set the first one, and then from then on, we, you know, you will take turns. So, who would like to go first? Okay. Now I got to do it. Um, I'm thinking of a number one through five. <laughs> Cheyenne? Three. Four. Three. There you so, go. I'm going to have you mosey on down there. Madison, what you can do is, and Michael, you can stand up here on that top of the culvert and um, I can help her out down there. So let me grab. Okay, what I'm going to do, what Mr. Carmen talked about, was uh, he talked about not using bait. Because there's dogs that are going to be walking through here, hopefully on leash, bait attracts everything. It'll, it attracts the animal you're trying to catch, but it also attracts dogs, cats, and other animals you don't want to catch, like possums and skunks and, you know. So I try to blind set. So you, you want to study the animal you're trying to trap. Okay, and one of the ways to do that is you can, you know, read about it and everything, but out here in their environment is where you're going to learn the most by looking at tracks, especially after some snow. You can go out and just follow a track, whether it's a fox track or a mink track or whatever, and you learn so much um, about the, the animal. Okay, let me slide down there first, Diane, and make sure it's not. trapping is you want to look for funnel points. You guys know what a, a funnel is, right? So what happens when you pour water into the top of the funnel? It goes down into a narrow area. So if you look at this, so this looks like a giant funnel. So you have the water coming down here right to the culvert. Okay. So the mink or all critters are going to be swimming along here or running mink or run that bank. And when they get to this high wall, instead of going up and over where there could be, you know, owls or hawks or they're going to go down here because there's nice cover. The owls and other uh, predators can't see him. So he's going to be out of the way. And also he's going to be hunting down through here for frogs, crayfish, minnows, because they're all funneled in here too. So this is what they call a blind set. Um, <coughs> So, Cheyenne, you, you were at um, the Bruce last year, right? So what I'll do is I'll look for a narrow spot, like this, this rock right here. So that mink's coming along here, but he might hop from here to here. So I want to narrow him down to a, a spot, because you, you know how big a mink is, right? How wide is a mink? Yeah, he's only about that wide. Okay, so he's going to be hugging, or she is going to be hugging that wall with his shoulder or her shoulder. So you want to find a nice narrow spot. If it's not narrow enough, you make it. Okay, so in this case, what we're going to do, I'll do it for you because your boots aren't deep enough. So that mink's going to be coming along here, or he's going to swim here and hit this. So I'm going to take this rock out of the way. And this is all stuff you can do before the season starts. So when you come here opening day, all you have to do is put the trap in. So if we narrow that down like that, and then take this mud just like that. So even if a mink is coming from the downstream and he's coming up, he's going to be hugging this corner, he's going to swim and turn this way. So all my mink traps are one and a half. Um, the pan, you can see how loose that pan is, because a mink only may weigh a couple pounds. Okay, so it's it's not going to take much for that to to drop down. So that's what you want. If that was too tight, the mink will run over back and forth over that all day long. And then I have chain on here in order to get them out into deep water to drown them. Now when I'm setting the trap, my thumb is on the dog, my finger is underneath to pull the pan up. Yep. Just I like do my that. I do my finger exactly the same way. Yep. That way if you're if I'm playing with it up here, what's gonna happen if the trap goes off? Yeah, yeah. And it'll be funny for you guys, but not so funny for me. Yep. 
So you can see how that's nice and clear. I also, I like my trap. You want the loose jaw. This is called the loose jaw because that's the one that's moving. You want that up tight against the wall right there, okay? So, and I also like my pan just underwater. Sometimes you have to adjust it because water's going up and down all the time. If you get some rain, the water's gonna come up and the uh, mink or muskrat can swim right over it. If the water goes down, you can still catch them. They'll still, they're not really trap shy, you know? And there's metal, look at this is all metal. There's metal everywhere. So I will set that and just work it down in just like that. Okay, so Cheyenne, um, let me move this rock and then you can stand on that. 